It's to do an Excel time. Yeah. Mama, it's to do an Excel time. Hey, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. I'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 159. It's another three-way lookup. All right. Uh, today's question sent in by YouTube. Is there a way to do a three-way lookup for all the months? So we have this property here in the section. We need to go find that information and then return the right month. And really important, there are no duplicate records. All right, well, while they're asking for a lookup, I think that this, because there are no duplicates, uh, can easily be solved with the new sum ifs, sum ifs formula. So what's the sum range? The sum range is this range down here, and we're going to press F4 one, two times to lock the rows down, but not the columns. That way, as we drag across, it will be adding up a different set of columns. So in other words, the third part of the three-way lookup, the month, will just happen automatically as we copy the columns across. And then criteria range 1, look through all of these properties over here, and this will be F4 single time. See if it is equal to the property. I'll press F4 one, two, three times, so we always reach back to column A. Could have just as easily have been uh, F4 once. And then we'll look through the sections, F4, and see if it's equal to section AA. And again, F4 one, two, three times to lock down just column B. All right, closing parenthesis, get our answer of 165, and there it is, highlighted in red. We'll copy that across, and no need to worry about that third lookup because as we copy it across, it automatically points to a new set of columns. So here we're pulling data from column D and data from column E. Really important that we didn't have a dollar sign there before that E, that way the uh, column changes as we copy across. All right, Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, some ifs to do this lookup when there's no duplicates. I love it. I also love it because that some ifs will be a little bit faster calculating than the lookup method I'm going to use here. Hey, I'm going to go straight for the D functions. D, and I'm going to use the D get function. That can look something up. Hey, we have a proper data set right here with field names at the top. So we'll give it the whole data set all the way down, F4 to lock it, comma, the field. That means within this table, which field do we want to go get the thing from? Relative cell reference, comma, and then the criteria. Because we have field name and our criteria below, we're allowed to use this function. That means it has to find this and that in the same row. So I highlight the field names and the criteria, F4, close parenthesis, that will work. Control Enter and copy it and drag it over. I go to the last cell, F2, it's looking good. Now, if I go and change this to property one, oh, I get a value error because I have to go ahead and change both of them. So I'm going to go ahead and add an if error, if error. Value, that'll be the D get. Come right to the end, comma, and then the value I want to display if there's an error, double quote, double quote. Hey, that is a zero length text string that will display nothing. Control Enter, copy it over. Now let's go ahead and try that again. Property 2, and now I'm going to do property 2 section. 11, and there we go. Now, I like the sum ifs better because the D get will calculate a little bit faster. All right, throw it back to Mr. Excel. Hey, wow, Mike, I figured you're going to do a uh, crazy array formula there, but D get, how old school is that? Uh, D get certainly works in this case if mit rom or mit uh, really just has one set of things to return, but I was afraid that you know, they would want to copy that down and dget, unless we're using a data table, is not going to work. Ah, now let's see. You said uh, that it would be faster to use some ifs instead of dget. Uh, let's see what happens. Charles Williams here. Now let's see how those solutions stack up using Fast Excel. All right, so here we are on the uh, Fast Excel V3. I went into manual calculation mode and we're going to try the sum ifs. We'll recalc the range. 0 0.182, 0 0.182 milliseconds. We'll try a couple times. 0.225 and calc range 0.19. So 
right around 0.2 milliseconds and then we'll try the d get see how much slower that is than the sum ifs we'll calc the range oh hey 0.358 so almost twice as fast or twice as long to calculate 0.35 uh, but really in this case if there's just six of them uh, 0.2 milliseconds versus 0.345 milliseconds uh, really it's a virtual tie although if we had thousands of them uh, that would be wild Mike I love the dget uh, it's great to be back doing dueling Excel podcasts again and I want to thank everyone for stopping by we'll see you next week for another dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is fun it's doing Excel time.